be seated unless you are a person who is 18 or younger or you feel like coming to hang out with me. Hey, there we go. I got some friends coming on up. We'll just have a lovely little seat here. Uh, my name is Ariel Johnson. I am the director of Children and Family Ministries here at Lake Harriet. And I am really excited because I dressed up this morning. Now, you see, one of the reasons I'm really excited is because this is my homecoming dress from 2010, and I'm really excited it still fits. Woo! It's very fancy. But you might be wondering, I, I asked all of you to come dress today, or if you saw the memo or whatever. If you're not, you still look great. Don't get me wrong. You're awesome. These are some awesome people, too. Look at how dressed up they are. But we're going to talk today, and the reason we dressed up is because we're going to talk about this lady named Esther. Have you ever heard of Esther before? No, has anyone in here heard of Esther before? All right, well, let me tell you about this, this quick little story about Esther. And if you hear the name Esther, I need you to cheer really loudly and say, Yay! Can you practice that with me? So I'm going to say, Esther. Yay! Good. And I might also say the name Haman. And when you hear the name Haman, you need to say, Boo. Hey, can we try that? Esther. Yay! Haman. Boo. Oh, good job. So there is this lovely lady named Esther. And she was a girl about 14 years old, and suddenly she became queen. She became queen of all of Susa with this king. But the king had a man that was his right-hand man, and his name was Haman. And Haman did not like Esther or her people. Haman decided that he wanted to get rid of Esther and all of her people. And so Esther, you are all doing really, really good at this. So Esther heard this message from her cousin Mordecai. And Mordecai said, you are called for such a time as this to save your people. That's why you became queen. And she said, well, okay, I guess I will try it. This, that's not actually what she said. She actually, what she really said was, go and pray for me. Have all of the people, all of Esther's people, prayed for her. And she went to the king and she said, king, please save my people. Please save my people. I don't want them to be hurt. And the king said, well, you're kind of cute. And you know, you're the queen and I kind of love you. So you know what? I will save your people. I will erase Haman's message. Yeah, I will erase Haman's message and make it so your people are saved. Because Esther knew how important it was to take care of her people. Now, why am I having you yay and boo throughout this story? Because this story is the message of Purim, which is a celebration that our Jewish brothers and sisters do. And when they read the story out loud, they say yay when there's Esther, and they boo when there's Haman. So it's kind of fun. And this story is so important because it tells us about what makes a queen. And our Bible verse today, which is Esther 4, uh, verse 14. It's my call verse. A call verse is the thing that tells you that you want to be in ministry. It's this verse, for such a time as this. And today, in a little bit, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about what that means, but I have something for you. Because it's not just the outfit that makes you a queen or a king or a prince or a princess or any kind of royalty. It's what you have inside that makes you that way. So you all get to wear a crown today because every single one of you has exactly, exactly what it takes to be a king or a queen or a prince or a princess or whatever have you. Amen, church? Amen. All right, you can go ahead and be seated. Thanks, all. Enjoy your crowns. <laughs> 